Hello and welcome, this is uh, Paul Sandhu and today will be what, February the 19th, 2019. Anyhow, I was uh, traveling for a little bit, went over to India and now I'm back in the great white north again here. Uh, so, hello and welcome to all my listeners and viewers. Uh, yesterday I posted a video on the, you know, discussing who is Jesus Christ. Because that is, uh, you know, a lot of confusion in regards to that. And uh, it is particularly in regards to the doctrine of the Trinity, okay, which I will be addressing in a separate video. Today, however, I just want to do a very brief video and discuss one comment that was left by uh, a viewer. And basically she said that, uh, that, you know, the Bible teaches that there is a triune God, which I disagree with, and also that uh, Jesus is a fully God and he is fully man. Okay, now this is something I myself have been guilty of in the past of making statements like that. You know, terminology is very important. It's very, very important to use the right words, especially when it comes to uh, talking about our God. And uh, I want to correct this here, okay? This is not for the purposes of debate, but it is just so that we can rightly divide the word of truth that Jesus is not a man. Okay? End of story. Yes, Jesus is all God who lives in the body of a man. So as far as Jesus is concerned, it is incorrect to say that he is all man and he is all God. Because the Bible where he specifically states that God is not a man. And if Jesus is God, which he is, then he is not a man. Okay? So there is nothing about man in him whatsoever. And by that I mean there is nothing about the nature of man that exists in Jesus Christ. He is a man in body only. All right, so let's use the right words and the right phrases so that, you know, because the Bible says that we are going to be held accountable for every word that comes, that we speak or, you know, write or, or so use of language is very, very crucial that we use the correct language. And this is all I wanted to say was that when it comes to Christ Jesus, we should not say that he is fully man and that he is fully God. Okay, he is fully God, there is no doubt about that, but he is not fully man. He is a, he has the body of a man. That's it, okay? The person that lives in that body is all God and no man, okay, none. That's it, there's nothing about man in Jesus Christ. And the Bible, again, like I'm repeating that scripture from Numbers, that God is not a man, okay? And neither the Son of Man, as a matter of fact, that he says. And, uh, you know, that would seem to contradict because Jesus said he is the Son of Man. But what that meant there is, in Numbers it is meant that, you know, there is nothing about the character of man that exists in God. Okay, nothing. There is nothing about the person of man. There is nothing about the nature of man that exists in God. So when Jesus says he was the son of man, it means that he came in the form, in the shape of a man in a body. That's it. Otherwise, the person that was in that body, it is the nature of God. It is the character of God. It is the person of God, as Hebrews 1.3 states, that he is the express image of his person, that is the person of God. So God himself essentially came to dwell in a body, and therefore that that the God in bodily form is Jesus Christ, who is all God in his nature, in his person, in his being, but he has the body of a man. So let's not say that he is fully man and fully God, because he is not, okay? So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for listening. This is Paul Sandu.